Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I am going to show you a simple way to insert the sheet name into the header or footer of your file so that when you print your worksheet, the header and footer would have the sheet name. It's fairly straightforward and only takes a couple of clicks and I will also show you some simple header and footer tricks in this video. So let's get started. Here I have this data set and I have two sheets in this workbook, store A and store B. Now when I print this worksheet, I want the name of the sheet to appear in the header or it could be in the footer. Now as of now, if I print this, so I hold the control key and press the P key, it is going to open the print preview and you can see in this sheet that is going to be printed, there is no header or footer as of now. So let us insert that. So I'm going to go into the page layout tab and here in the page setup group, I'm going to click on this dialog box launcher. And when I do that, it opens the page setup dialog box. You can also do the same thing by using the keyboard shortcut Alt PSP. And when you do that, it again opens the same dialog box. Now here I'm going to select header and footer. And within this, I have these two options, custom header and custom footer. So I'm going to click on custom header because I want to insert the sheet name in the header. And when I do that, it opens this header dialog box where I have three sections, left, center and right. Now this is where you would decide where you want the sheet name to appear. If you want it to appear on the left side, you would place your cursor here and now you would insert the sheet name here. Else you would put it in the center if you want the name to appear in the center. So I have my uh, cursor in the center section and now I'm going to use this icon here and when I hover over it, it says insert sheet name and when I click on it, it inserts this code which is and and then tab in square brackets and this is the code that tells Excel to also print the sheet name in the header in this position which is the center. See what happens when I click OK and then click OK again and now I play, uh, hold the control key and press the P key. It opens the print preview and it shows store A here because I have put that code in the center of the custom header. Now if you want this to appear in the custom footer again go back here and then you can put this code. Uh, so this is the code here that I have. If I put this code let's say in the custom footer so now I have this code in the header as well as footer. So my sheet name is going to appear both in the header and the footer. So you can again put it wherever you want. Uh, another thing you need to know is that this is sheet specific. So the changes that I've made in store A sheet has not automatically been applied to store B sheet. So I would have to make these changes again here. Or what you can do is while you're doing it, you select both of these sheets. So hold the control key, then select both of these sheets and then apply the changes. So it would be applied to all the sheets that you have selected. Now, some interesting things I wanted to show you. So let me come back here to store a sheet and let's go back to the custom header setting. Now here I already have the sheet name, but you see all these other icons, which means that you can also add other things. For example, in this case, I want to have the sheet name, but I also want to know the page number. So you can come here and you can use this icon here, which says, okay, so when you hover over it, it should say something. Okay, it doesn't, but let me click it and it says and page and this is the page number. So this is going to show you the page number of the printed sheet. So if I have 10 pages in sheet one, then this is going to show me sheet name, page one, sheet name, page two and so on. So let me show you how it looks. When I press control P, you can see it says store one dash one, where one is the sheet number. If you want to also show the total number of sheets, then you can do that as well. So again, let's go here. And here I would also type off. So one off and how many pages? So this is the thing here. If I click on this, it would say one off uh, 11 pages or one of 10 pages. So I think I only have one page here, but you will see what I mean when I show you here in the print preview, it says store one, one off one, which means page number one off one, no, total number of pages, which is also one in this case. But if you have, let's say 10 pages, then it would show one of 10, two of 10, three of 10 and so on. So you can have this information. You can also add some other information such as the date and the time. So if you want to insert date and time, you can use this. This, would, this is going to insert the date. This is going to insert the time. You can also insert the file path and the file name if you want. And you can have this in combination. So you just cannot just have one element. You can have multiple elements here. Also, if you want to format it, for example, I want the sheet name to appear in bold format or in a different font style, you can do that. You can either select the entire thing and apply formatting to it or you can select part of it. So let's say I want the sheet name to appear in bold. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to go to this icon, which is the format text icon. Click on it. It opens the font dialog box and here you can make all the changes. So you can change the font, the font style. So let's say I want to make it bold. You can increase the font size if you want. So let's increase it. 
maybe 18 and you can make all the changes once you are done click OK and when you're done this you'll see some changes happen here but now if I go back to the print preview you'll see that store A appears in bold and the font size has increased. So you can make some limited uh, formatting changes here. Another interesting thing is you can also insert logos and images. So you have this option here, so you can try it out. You can have some picture, some logo of your company, then you can insert that logo in any of these. So if you're creating a report, then this could be quite useful if you print your work a lot. So this is how you can quickly insert sheet name and other information such as page numbers or the total number of pages or the date or time or logo in the header or footer in your Excel file when you print it. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.